EA Games. Challenge everything. Hi, I'm Rick Giolito, executive producer of Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. Today we're going to do a walkthrough of the demo of Medal of Honor Pacific Assault, which is actually the Henderson Field level. And I'm also going to talk a little bit about the groundbreaking technology we've created for this product, our first next-gen PC product. First thing that happens is you find yourself being woken up pretty violently by your sergeant because the Japanese have attacked the camp and this happened all the time. But the most important thing to notice here is that unlike Medal of Honor games of the past, what you're playing is a squad based shooter and you have to work with your squad. We have two very important and exciting features in this game, and that is dynamic procedural AI for your squad and the enemy squad, as well as adaptive AI dialogue. What this means is that both your squad and the enemy squad react in real time to what's happening, the, the tide of battle tactics being used, and your squad and the Japanese will call out tactics, what's going on, what's happening, you know, where to go based on your interaction. So what this means is that the game plays differently every time. Out goes the scripted AI and in goes the real-time procedural AI. Something you will not notice until you play it. Let's go, boys! Heads up. And if you just notice right there, we just had an example of our Havoc physics. Yes, this environment is real. You can react to it in real time. Shoot the head off one of those acetylene tanks and look out. It's going to go and it can create damage. As he's shooting at a player right now, you can see pots and pans are going flying. What's really cool about this is that the environment is persistent. It changes over time. And the AI, your characters and the enemy, will recognize it and take advantage of it. This has never been done in a shooter before. And we're really excited that now you can use this for tactical play. You're seeing right now one of our great new features, which is the use of Corman or medics. This guy went down, you called over the Corman to help him to get your squad back in play because you're not going to be picking up uh, health packs and canteens in Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. We've done away with all the arcade elements in an effort to give you a more authentic and immersive experience. So now we have our squad coming up. They fought the Japanese back to the front of the camp. The Japanese are holding the machine gun. You can see your guys taking cover. When the Japanese knew that the jig was up, they pretty much go into a bonsai charge which meant everybody would just rush at you. They worked under the code of Bushida. You are not able to give yourself up. You are much better off dying in the face of battle. So we've run out of health. Can you hear me? We've 
pulled our Corman over and we've self bandaged. He's going to give you an adrenaline shot and boom, you're back up and into the action. Okay, good to go. So here we are, we've entered the airfield, and as you can see, a pilot getting into that plane. Your objective here is to protect these pilots, help them get into the air. Somebody just got blown up onto that plane, that happens. That's the reality of havoc physics and the environment, you never know what's going to happen. You can see the Japanese forces in the distance. Uh, we don't have guys standing out in the middle anymore, these guys are thinking. They can feel the pressure, and so they're looking for cover as they're attacked. You're behind cover, but at any moment, as you can probably hear the bullets pinging off, and there went that piece of cover. Cover can be blown out from in front of you, and you can do the same to the enemy, creating a whole new dynamic to gameplay. Your squad is with you. You can see them running for cover, looking for opportunity. You're flanking left. You've just blown that guy's cover away, and now We've got this last guy to go who, now that he's lost his squad, has gone into a bonsai attack because they'd rather die than surrender. And this is what made fighting in the Pacific so vicious. Here you notice your squad is lined up in an embankment in an attempt to stop the Japanese as they move across the airfield in a last desperate attempt. Planes are in the air and now you can hear the AI dialogue in real time saying, Tommy, Tommy, get on the gun. Our guys need help. You've effectively gotten your guys into their planes, but now they have to taxi and take off. And the Zeros are targeting them. Your job now is to shoot those Zeros down that are targeting those planes as they roll down the runway. There you can see one of the coolest moments. You're shooting a plane that's veered off, hit the tower, and that's gone down. As we take this last plane out, the Zeros have changed their attention over from the planes to you. Who's shooting at them? No script here, this is done in real time. Those planes are real, they're actually physical objects. And you need to be aware of the debris that's falling from them. It will hurt you. Whoa, looks like we took a little too much damage there and unfortunately you've gone down. Medal of Honor Pacific Assault is the most relentless and intense World War II first-person shooter ever created. Check out all the information on the Medal of Honor Pacific Assault website at eagames.com. Until next time, I'm Rick Giolito, executive producer of Medal of Honor. EA Games.